I'm here at Oldford in Somerset at Iron Mill on the River Froome. For 500 years on this river, water wheels have provided hydropower for the wool trade, grinding corn, metalwork and pumping water. With the advent of fossil fuels, they fell into disrepair. But now, they might again play a part in Somerset's renewable energy future. The mill owner Kevin Sharp is planning to restore the mill over the next few years and then supply enough energy for a hundred local homes. So this is the wheel as it stands today. With these old mills restored and new hydro plants along the river, water power in Somerset could deliver over 40,000 megawatt hours a year. This is a pioneering biogas project at Wyke Farm near Bruton, and it gives us just a taste of what's now possible. My neighbour Jason Fuel from East Pennard showed me round the plant. Combining food waste, slurry and compost in these huge anaerobic digesters, the farm business is now running 100% on renewable energy. On top of that, they're piping biogas into Bruton Town and exporting energy onto the national grid. This graph, which is from a European Parliament report, shows exactly how Somerset's future energy needs could be met 100% by renewable energy sources. I've come up the river to Tellisford, near the village of Road, where I grew up. We used to come up here when I was a kid for Sunday afternoon walks, at that time, it was a derelict mill. Now, it's working again, producing enough power for 50 to 175 homes. Anthony Battersby and Rachel Fielden restored the mill with a 55 kilowatt turbine, and now they're producing, on average, 276,000 kilowatt hours a year. And this is, this is the number I like, which is the the number of car miles of CO2 that we're offsetting every day. So even now we're still we're offsetting a thousand miles. Projects like these show how local communities could benefit from a renewable energy revolution. Running as a small business, community venture or through energy co-ops, local projects not only generate power but bring money back into the community. From large-scale ventures like the planned Bridgewater Tidal Lagoon right the way down to solar panels on our roofs. A renewable revolution is poised to create 16,500 jobs and generate over £800 million for Somerset's economy. The truth is, we don't need to wait for a new nuclear power plant which never arrives or fill our landscape with fracking wells. With these technologies, we're ready to move to a zero carbon economy in Somerset now. All that's lacking is the political will. If we want green power for Somerset, the future is in our hands.